When you travel to certain places in December, you definitely take a risk that the weather might not turn out so great. In Miami, it rained every single day except the day we left. Very disappointing, so I was really, really hoping that our cruise would be different and we would finally get the blue skies and the perfect weather that we'd been wanting. Traffic was really bad at the Port of Miami. You definitely need to plan ahead for that. Virgin Voyages did notify us that our ship would be two hours delayed, so we had plenty of time. We lined up according to our boarding time. We did have to stand and wait for a bit, but we were heading onto the ship around 5.30 p.m. We've done one cruise before. It was in Europe. We enjoyed it, but I didn't feel like we'd be taking another one anytime soon, and we didn't. We've done a lot of travel since then, but we just weren't that interested in cruising again until we heard about adult-only virgin voyages. Ahoy! Ahoy! How are we doing? Good. Ahoy. Welcome Good. aboard to Scarlet Lady. You're officially on board. Yay. Thank you. Yeah, you made it. Let's go. Cool. Good to see you. Could it possibly live up to the hype? Hi. Hi. <laughs> we paid $2,664 total for the five-night Dominican Days cruise aboard Scarlet Lady. Our booking deal also came with $300 bar tab and $100 in sailor loot. Ahoy sailors! Our assembly stations are now open for check-in. Unlike other cruise lines, tips are included and it also comes with a basic Wi-Fi package. We booked a sea terrace, which is 185 square feet and has a private balcony. Virgin does not currently offer any pay one price all you can drink packages. You can pre-purchase a bar tab or pay as you go with the credit card on file. The bar tab is not available for purchase on ship and it's not refundable once the voyage starts. The room felt spacious enough for two, clean and very modern. And we got really good service during our time on board. Yeah, I love that they provide water. Our cabin attendant seemed to magically show up the minute we left to clean every day. The bathroom is tiny but functional. Bitty bitty shower. But it has a rain shower head. Mm -hmm. There's a drawer here. Oh, look, there's drawers in here. So I don't like it. There's your chargers. I'm with this is. Hmm. Room control, like lights, thermostat. You do photo shoots. Our luggage showed up at around 6.45. That was pretty fast. Each of us had to watch a safety video and they'll know if you don't do it. And you also have to attend a muster drill, which is a safety briefing before the ship takes off. This is the galley where you eat if you don't have reservations at one of the restaurants. There are a few other walk-in eateries, but this is the most full service one open all day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That looks good. We didn't eat there a lot, but everything I ate from there was really good. Now I have to figure where I'm going to put all of this stuff. Only hung a few things. Actually, I'm gonna hang my dress too. Here, I just put my makeup bag a few different accessories. I put my bras and underwears in there. It's the skinniest drawer. And then down here, um, I use these packing cubes. So I have all of my shorts and tanks in here. And I'll do that and I'll leave these. He does not have packing cubes and I gotta leave him some space. Okay, so in here I have my laundry bag and then I just put my shoes in there. There in my packing cube, I put most of the stuff that I wore the first four days when it was cold. So I have like my crop pants and my short sleeve shirts, pajamas, athleisure wear, workout wear. This is my toiletry container. And then this is like <laughs> my toiletry overflow which I have here and then in this basket I hair packing cube with like my blow dryer and stuff like that. This for him. We've still got this shelf there. Our luggage fits nicely there and then we still have these little cubbies and there's also room underneath the bed. And in the bathroom there's room down there to put stuff. This looks like a little cubby. I can set stuff there. There's a little shelf in the bathroom. So I would say that storage is actually pretty good here. I am surprised at how many spaces there were to put things and I feel like I can have access to everything and I feel very organized. Our ship is sailing! We didn't get underway until about 9.30. 
and it was so exciting to see all of the other cruise ships waiting to take off. Everyone was so excited. You don't look dressed. No, my pajamas. I think you forgot to get dressed. Wearing pajamas out is kind of awesome. You really can't get more comfortable and easier than that. And there were all kinds of jammies at this party. Sexy, satin, onesie, you name it. And it was so much fun. I am tired. It's late. I don't know how I'm even up. Virgin Voyages Cruise Line is pretty new. The Scarlet Lady is Virgin Voyages' very first ship. She's been sailing since 2021. Valiant Lady started sailing in 2022, and in 2023, they added Resilient Lady. Their fourth ship, Brilliant Lady, was delayed and should be sailing sometime in 2025. It has a spa, gym, casino, game center, and many fun hangout spots. One of the first things you should do when you get on ship is go through the app and make dining reservations and sign up for whatever onboard activities you want to participate in. The earlier, the better, because it will fill up. You can always change your mind, except some fitness classes will charge you if you are a no-show, but you'll know when you book it. Not me looking at a backpack exactly like the one on the back. I immediately signed up for the 90s boy band dance class. Of course I did, and it was a really popular class. This was our group. We learned the Bye 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 choreography from NSYNC, and it was so much fun. I think it only takes me five minutes to get ready. Today. I'm good. I am low maintenance. It's a Ship Show was one of two shows we got to see. The host was really funny and there were a variety of really good acts. It was very entertaining. And the food was good but sparse. I was definitely going to need more food later. The Sip Lounge was our favorite bar to hang out at on the ship. They have live music for a few hours in the evenings and it's just a really nice, cool, chill vibe. Cheers. I was very pleasantly surprised by the budget-friendly drink options on board. Beer, six to seven bucks. Plenty of wine options for seven to 11 bucks. Cocktails for 10. I love that you never have to search for your room key or money. This bracelet is our room key and it pays for everything on board. So we're doing chicken fries, bacon fries, going in for dessert. Mm. I don't think I like any of it. Someone gave me this. Dangerous. We had friends staying in a Rockstar suite, so of course we had to check it out. Rockstar status can cost you about an extra $1,800 or more per person, depending on the cruise and layout, but this is a mega Rockstar fab suite, and it goes for about 15,000 ish, depending on the cruise. It's 689 square feet. Perks are a huge one bedroom, one and a half bath with living room, and a personal Rockstar agent to help you out with bookings or anything else you need. All drinks are included throughout the ship, including alcohol. The in-room bar is bottomless, restocked daily, and curated based on what you order throughout the trip. At dinner, you get a bottle of wine up to $90, complimentary spa visits, access to a special members-only sun deck, and much more. I'll just leave it at that. The terrace is bigger than our entire room. The terrace is 261 square feet with two loungers, a couch, hammock, and outdoor shower. It's huge. Outdoor shower, kind of hard to tell right now, but it's there. Just keep putting pressure on it. If I throw the whole thing over, woo! <laughs> I did it. Party. Yeah, rock star. <laughs> We didn't feel like going to breakfast, so we did room service, also known as Ship Eats. 
We put in for it late the night before using the app, so the only time slots were super early, but it was nice to not have to get dressed and go anywhere. There is a $5 delivery fee for food, but I've since learned that if you order a drink that costs money, delivery is the price of the drink or drinks, and that's it. And I'm pretty sure the food comes from the galley. Uh-oh, looking kind of gray. I went to an 11 a.m. Zumba class. Amazing workout. <gasps> That was fun. Sweaty. Yes, I'm so gross. So the thing about Puerto Plata is that you'll probably want to do a tour for this stop. We had a Damajagua Waterfalls plus ATV tour booked, but we canceled it. I don't know, sometimes I regret that, but I was a little nervous about the waterfalls and not too keen on the ATV bit. There isn't much to see in Puerto Plata, but Taino Bay is pretty cool. It's only open to cruise passengers. I kind of wish we'd made plans to pop into the town and hang out there. There's no actual beach access, but it looks relaxing and it was definitely warm enough. It was hot and so humid. As we walked into town, we had a guy following us who insisted that he was going to be our tour guide. He was a little tough to shake, but he did eventually give up. I do have an appreciation for seeing different places and countries, that's why I travel, so even though there wasn't much to do or see, I did enjoy seeing the town. By this time we were really hungry, so we had some chicken empanadas, and we were off the ship for about two and a half hours. I don't want to hold her, but she's cute. Yeah. Got it. Alcohol purchased in ports goes to this person and they brought it to our room before we left. Cute little pattern, okay. The dual reality show was so good. The acrobatics were just so amazing. And it had a really good message. We didn't initially have a reservation for this, but I kept checking in the app and a spot opened up. Thirty minutes of rest before the shenanigans begin. Okay, out. The night has begun. I'm tired, but I'm rallying. And Rally. we're gonna go to dinner and then party. Virgin doesn't do assigned seating or certain seating times for dinner in a main dining hall like most cruises, and there aren't any buffets. It's all restaurants, and Scarlet Lady has six main ones. Four of the six are dinner only. Dining reservations open 45 days before sailing. And it does fill up fast. They do hold some reservations back so that additional slots will open on the day of sailing. And if the places you want are booked, you can keep checking back. The food here was delicious and we were very full after eating. Scarlet Night is that one night where everyone is invited to wear red, the entire ship turns red, and it's a huge celebration all over the ship. A toast to the sailors. Everyone, raise your glasses. We missed some of the festivities and entertainment while we were eating, but the main event is the big dance party. I think normally it starts outside on the pool deck, but due to weather, the whole thing was inside for us in this giant hall. The place was packed, and then everyone was moved to the manor for the after party. The DJ was great. We danced all night long, and it was so much fun. Okay, I ended the night the way I started, dancing. And sweating, and I'm not too mad about it. I began the night sober, ended the night not sober at all. And he's not mad about it either. Nope, I'm asleep. <laughs> and the wind feels good. The boat is so rocky tonight, but I think it's settled down a little bit. Cause I'm the water tender. Uh huh. Let's hydrate. What's our mood? Get it on? What? <laughs> Ooh, I think we're gonna shut the lights down now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time to eat again. <laughs> Let's go. Me too. One, two, three. 
how cute are these little guys? A little Christmas gift from Virgin Voyages. When I first saw the pool area, I was not super impressed. The pool seemed a little small for everyone on the ship and it didn't seem like there were enough hot tubs, but you have to remember that the Scarlet Lady is a relatively small ship compared to some of those humongous cruise ships. Max capacity is 2,770 passengers. Some of those other ships are closer to 4,000. We got there around 12.45 p.m. and the seating was very limited in the immediate area around the pool with more options on the overlooking deck and outer areas. You can find a seat, it just might not be near the pool. They do have an afternoon DJ and once that party got started, we had so, so much fun. The music was so good. It was the ultimate pool party experience and I really just felt like I was having the time of my life. Things did get a little bit, um, a lot wild and that was about the time we were leaving. I did wish it were a little bit warmer. That middle of the ocean air gets pretty cool, but I was mostly just happy that the sun was shining and that it was a clear, beautiful day. So have you checked the bar tab yet? <laughs> no. Are you going to? No. Okay. Calm and serenity. Oh boy, that pool party was off the chisane. <laughs> Whoa. Laundry is $30 per bag. It took about 24 hours for us to get it back and it can be requested in the app or the room iPad. Much needed early night. Going to bed before nine and I am so late. They have a pretty decent movie selection on board. No sun. All right. Have fun. Have a good day, Jay. Be Bye. safe and have yeah, fun. <laughs> Bye. One thing I started to notice was the absence of announcements. Aside from boarding day, they don't do too much of that. They don't announce when it's time to get off. They don't announce activities. The expectation is that the information is in the app, so they don't feel the need to shout it out. I've seen complaints about the functionality of the app, but we didn't have any issues. You can also grab a printed guide daily of all ship happenings. Bimini Beach Club is reserved for Virgin Voyages passengers and only open to other guests for a fee when a Virgin Voyages ship is not in port. It's technically owned by Resorts World Bimini, but designed by and for Virgin Voyages. The place is amazing, but I was so freaking disappointed at this weather. I mean, I tried not to be, but like, how could you not be? I got there around 11 a.m. I found a beach bed, so at least I had that, but it was cold. These are the cabanas if you want to pay an extra $400 to reserve it. They accommodate up to six and include a $100 drink credit. The rock stars have their own separate area with loungers and cabanas. While I was freezing my ass off at the beach, he did the scuba shore excursion. You do have to be certified for this one. If you are interested in this, you should know that they do jump in the water where there are visible sharks. He said that one person was too scared, but everyone else just jumped right in and there were no incidents. We're at the beach in long sleeves. That's what we got. This food here at the beach club is free and it really was Quite good. The sun is trying. The sun didn't really start to show up until about 3 p.m., which is also about when it was time to go. I can't believe we were in the Bahamas and did not frolic in the ocean, but we managed to take our clothes off so that we could get an actual beach-like photo, far different from reality, but necessary nonetheless. I was down there. The Mini Beach Club is really a beautiful place, but clearly this was not an ideal beach day. Our experience would have been completely different if the weather had been warmer. Cheers. 
let's go. Let's roll. We did not have reservations, but since it was just the two of us, we decided to see if we could get in at Gun Bay. It's a community dining experience. You will be seated with strangers, but it's really fun, especially if the other people at your table are fun, which they were. We had drinking games. It was a blast. We got there around 5.45 p.m. It was really crowded on our way out, so definitely think you need to try before six if you don't have reservations, and the food was really good. We ate a meal at every restaurant except the test kitchen, which was fine by me because that food is a little too avant-garde for me anyway. Got enough snacks? Yeah, I got snacks on snacks on snacks. There were karaoke options elsewhere, but if you are interested in private karaoke, the groupie is your spot. It's very old school. You have to sign up in person by writing your name on a sign-in sheet. The earlier, the better. We finally signed up early enough to get a spot on our last night. Note. It is popular music, but generic, as in the songs are covers of the real thing, if that matters to you. I absolutely love karaoke, always have, always will, so this was a really good time. Our booking deal came with $100 in sailor loot that we had to use up. This is an onboard credit that can be used for merchandise, shore excursions, spa services. This is our $235 a refund from our, I assume it's our excursion. We went a little bit over on our $300 bar tab and some of our excursion credit money went towards that. How is there any room in your stomach at all? I am done eating, done. And we got loot. I asked for bacon on the side. That's how much she gave me. Breakfast at the galley is actually really good. The French toast was surprisingly delicious, and I'm really picky about my French toast. And struggling pretty hard there. I don't know. Go oh, Samsung. I mean, um, Samsonite. Say bye. Goodbye, Sarah lady. Debarkation day is really easy. There are no assigned times. I think they want you off by 10 a.m., but you just pack up and you go. I get that some people might not enjoy this type of experience, but we had a really good time. I love the very adult hip vibe of Virgin and the younger crowd that goes along with that. I like it that there are no kids. I like that we could handle everything on the app without having to go to stand in line somewhere. I like no buffets or specific dining times and the quality of the food. I like that it was a relatively small ship with less crowds and people. Virgin is a bit pricier than some of the other cruise lines, but designed so that what you are getting in return seems worth it. I didn't feel price gouged at every turn. I didn't get a chance to enjoy our balcony or the rest of the ship as much as I wanted, but we will definitely take another Virgin voyage in the future and the weather better not suck. True by Hilton, Donya Beach is a really great one night hotel close to the airport situation. Free breakfast in the morning and a free shuttle. It's about $60 for an Uber from Miami to Fort Lauderdale. Round floor. Flights from Fort Lauderdale were cheaper, so we went oh. with it. Oh, sweet. Bathroom looks clean. Oh, that's, that's the closet, that bar. But yeah, not a single drawer. We have hooks at least. And we are utilizing these hooks. It's an airport hotel. There's nothing around here. Um, all we need to do is have access to food at some point and we'll be good. Napped and ready to eat again. Ground floor. Actually, I think this is the longest time we've gone without eating. <laughs> In quite a while. There were only a few dining options within walking distance. By this time, it was day 11 of our trip, four nights in Miami, five nights on the cruise, one night in Fort Lauderdale. I had a good time, but I was worn out. It was Christmas Eve Eve, and I was so ready to get home. Right when I get home from a trip, I'm not ready to travel again. Yes, it's fun and exciting, but it's a lot. You pick. To you pick. The world is your oyster. Switching over to water. Last one. However, the travel bug always kicks in again and I'm already getting excited about our travel plans for the upcoming year. <laughs>